guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with my layout share for the month of June. So a few days late, but that's okay. Um, I have already shown the layouts that I did for my June Killa Kit with Style. They are in here, so I'll show them to you really quickly. But if you want to see anything else about that kit or my leftovers or all that kind of thing, you can definitely check out the video that's specific to that. And so I only have one Traveler's Notebook spread this time. And there's not a process video for this one. This is one that was created in our um, secret online scrap party of the month for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And so this is one that I created live um, within the group. So there is no video for this one, but I'm using that My Mind's Eye Wander collection. And that's what it looks like. So that was the only Traveler's Notebook spread that I actually did this month. This one was for Stealing Saturday, which was something that Christine Meyer invited me to join her for, where she lifted a layout of mine and I lifted a layout of hers. There is a process video for this one if you want to check it out. Um, not my favorite layout of the entire month. If you watch that video, you will see that that is the case. Um, but I'm okay with it. I'm good with it, and it's cute, and it works, and it's done. All right, this one was from my Killa Kit with Style. It was an 8.5 by 11 using my June kit. And so if you want to see more about that, go ahead and check out that Killa Kit with Style layout share and wrap up at the end of the month. And this one is from that same place. So filling in a cut file with pattern paper and sequins from my kit. And then this one is also from that particular kit. And so using those crocheted flowers and really fun bright paper. This was one that I created for Wild Whisper Design and talking about just how to create an impactful simple layout if you have a short amount of time to create. And so there is a process video for this one if you want to stop by and check it out. This one was for my guest designing with Click Kits for this month. And so we talked about using a um, using this kind of center element on the layout. This was based on a sketch of the month and creating a row of sequins like this, as well as taking the alphabet that came in the kit and altering it to be a different color so that it matched what I had going on in the layout. And there's a video if you wanna check that one out. This is another one that was with my June kit, so I won't spend too much time talking about this one. There is a video and it is in that kit share if you are interested. All right, this one was for Memory Lane Scrapbook Store where I am working with Auburn Lane and then I was also playing with some stamps from Pattern Happy. Super cute. We've got some textured ribbons and things in there. And I really like how that one turned out. This one was also for Wild Whisper Designs and focusing on fussy cutting this gorgeous paper and creating kind of an elegant, simple layout. And so there's a lot of depth and dimension there. And I really love this one. This is for my wedding album. Well, my wedding and honeymoon album. And this one was also for Memory Lane Scrapbook using that gorgeous Auburn Lane collection. It does have, let me see if I get it out. It does have a bunch of hidden journaling in here. Tucks in right behind my photo. And super cute kind of quilt inspired pattern there. This one was one that I made for Paper House Productions. This was my last month on their design team because my six month term was over. And I'm super sad. I had such a great time on that design team. And so this was using a bunch of scraps that I had left over from some of the pattern paper pads, as well as some of these little butterfly stickers. All right, this one was also for Memory Lane Scrapbook Store. This is using Wild Heart from Cray Paper and kind of creating this background element and then clustering my embellishments to kind of match with the colors in those rows. And I love the, how the title came out on this one. So there's videos for these if you want to take a look. This one is also for Wild Whisper Designs and kind of going with this more masculine feel. So we've got kind of a monochromatic with these really bright pops of blue, which really makes this layout stand out. And then just a letter, the journaling is a letter written to my son from me, just talking about his desire to learn the history and the sights and sounds of Boston. Um, 
he was he was the kiddo that got to pick this particular trip destination and some of the things that we got to do while we were there. And so it was, it made a very big impact on him. Every time we travel, it seems to make a big impact on him. But this trip especially, I think, because it was his trip and he planned it. All right, this is another one for Wild Whisper Designs. And I was using my favorite hexagons with a sketch. And so talking about, you know, using some, um, a little bit more busy patterns in smaller pieces to create kind of an elegant look. And then this one was for Cheeky Studio using some of the Gamer Ephemera. And so this cluster and this cluster especially have a lot of that Ephemera from Cheeky and I've kind of paired it up with a bunch of Bella Boulevard. This is one of my favorite packs from Cheeky Studio. So if you have kids that are gamers, I would absolutely check out that pack. All right, this one was also for Memory Lane Scrapbook, working with that Wild Heart collection and just creating a huge title element and then using kind of strips of pattern paper from that six by eight paper pad. Super fun, kind of basic layout. This one was also for Paper House Productions, which has been known as the sticker sneeze challenge in my Kit Club group um, and in the Rediscover Your Stash group where everyone has kind of been challenged to count up and beat the number of stickers that are used on a layout. And this is also a layout that Christine Meyer scrap lifted of mine. So I would step by and check out hers for Steal It Saturday as well. Um, but it was focusing on using these clear stickers and kind of creating my own background paper out of those. And it has some stitching borders and things. Super fun. I would have never thought having this many stickers on a page, I would actually like the layout, but I really love how this layout came out. All right, and last but not least, this was for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club collaboration with Page Maps for the month of June. And so this was using one of the 10 Page Map sketches that were released this month. And I absolutely love the colors in this Imagine That collection. And it just, it works perfectly for my boy my boy pages and photos and so I adore this one super 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 fun there is a video if you want to check it out and that's it for the month of June so I am definitely looking forward to lots more projects in the month of July I have already created two or three projects with my killer kit um, stash kit that I put together for July so I am definitely off to a good start at killing some of those supplies and getting through that kit. And so I would love to hear in the comments below how many projects or what types of things you got done in June. And if there's a certain kind of category or project that you're working on for July, leave me a comment below. Tell me all about it and I'll see you again soon. Bye.